Gossip is so hard to resist. For one thing, it's hard to define. What makes gossip gossip? When is it just small talk and when is it sinful talk? What makes gossip wrong? Is it when it's said? Who says it? To whom it's told? Is it always a lie or a rumor or malicious? Gossip doesn't come with a warning label. Wouldn't it be great if a sign would flash above the heads of the people you're talking with? Warning! The contents of the next conversation contain sinful gossip. Use extreme caution. But that's not what happens anyway, is it? Nope, normally there you are just talking with someone and out of nowhere, this juicy piece of news about someone else presents itself and asks you to swallow it. The Bible says in Proverbs 18.8, the words of a gossip are like choice morsels. They go down to a man's inmost parts. Gossip is really hard to resist. It's like a bowl of potato chips left by itself on the kitchen counter. What would happen at your house if mom put a bowl of salty chips out on the counter in the late afternoon? Well, I don't know about your family, but at our place, they'd be going like that. What happens if you eat the whole bowl of chips by yourself? Mmm, you're gonna be sick. Gossip is like that. It goes down to a man's inmost parts. Gossip tastes great going down, but it has a poisonous effect on our hearts. And gossip hurts people. The Bible says, reckless words pierce like a sword. It's like a spark ready to set off a bomb. I'll bet you know how it feels to be gossiped about. I know I do. So we've got to get a handle on this problem. The good news is that God has provided in His Word everything we need to resist the sin of gossip. The Bible teaches us how to recognize gossip for what it is and where it comes from, the heart. And God is faithful. He'll not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, He'll also provide a way out so that you can stand up under it through the gospel of Jesus Christ.